Hi everyone. Hi Sparky. Hi everyone. Hi Pastor Songmin. Sparky, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm fine, but I am worried about the high number of COVID-19 cases in our state. So I wonder how the families of our church and the community are doing. Yes, I am also worried about our children friends because currently my school and other churches in my town are closed again. I heard that the number of staff and students being quarantined after receiving a positive COVID-19 test result or being identified as a close contact is really high. So, face-to-face -face instruction at my school has paused beginning November 13. I hope everything is going okay with all of our friends. Oh, I know how you feel. After this stay at home order from our governor, Tony Evers, our church building has also closed for all small group in-person gatherings. But we know it is to protect each of us and our beloved families in our church and community. We also know that we are doing it together to support and protect each other. Yes, Sparky. By not being in the same place at the same time, we are taking care of other people's health as much as ours. Everyone, remember to wear your face mask, wash your hands often, and have physical distance of at least six feet with others. Yes, also, let us try to be nice to our friends, family members, and others with our words and actions. Oh, I think that's really important to us at this time, too. We are so sensitive and dry while being tired and frustrating, frustrated, dealing with all these different and changing situations, and being separated from families or others. Friends, let us be nice and kind in our words and actions. Let us extend more kindness and compassion than others feel necessary. It is one of the ways how we express our love to God and others, just like Jesus' teaching in today's Bible story from Matthew chapter 22 verses 34 to 40. Oh, I remember those scriptures. It's the first and greatest commandment. Love God and our neighbors. Good job, Sparky. There are a lot of teachings throughout the Bible, but the most important one is in today's scripture. Love God and love your neighbor as yourself. Pastor Simon, is there anything more that we can do to share God's love with mm -hmm. others? I'd love to do something with our children friends to share God's love with others. Of course, there are many opportunities. Actually, last week, I got a request to ask you all to send thank you cards to the church for veterans who spend their time and lives to protect us and our country for peace. That's a good idea. Everyone, Veterans Day was last Wednesday and Thanksgiving is coming soon. This is a good time to express our thankful hearts to our brave veterans. Oh, wait a minute. Hey friends, send Pastor Song Min a note or a drawing on paper to express words of your thanks to veterans just like mine. <laughs> or a fancy card will also be good. Send it by mailing to Cargill UMC, 2000 Wesley Avenue. Or you can drop it at church office. Thank you. Pastor Simon. Yes? Is the virtual Christmas pageant still going on? Yes. The due date to sign up has passed. But... Two families of children and youth can still join for the song, Joy to the World. So please let me know if your family would like to join it. Hey friends, it would be great to sing with your family together this Thanksgiving to celebrate the Christmas season through this special event. Oh, 
Pastor Simon. Yes. I heard that the virtual pageant will be edited by a very talented person. That's right, Sparky. Reverend Jane Summers,、uh, the special editor for this program, worked with me to provide the virtual choir for the Wisconsin Annual Conference this year, and she is a wonderful musician. Many people were impressed by her beautiful work. Wow! I am so excited for the virtual Christmas project. Me too, Sparky. <laughs> Let us keep living out the greatest commandment. Loving God and our neighbors. Now let us pray. Gracious and loving God, thank you for your commandment. Help us to love you with all our hearts, with all our souls, and with all our minds, and love our neighbors. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Have a wonderful week. See you next Sunday.